Hi, everybody. It's Linda G. And I'm here with Andre. Hi, everybody. This is our second time getting together because we, we had a hell of a time connecting. And I figured it was the solar flares that have been hitting the earth. Recently, yes, well, there's been a whole bunch of them that have hit. You know, they hmm. don't do any damage except maybe interrupt, you know. And I had like, I ordered something for my patio and it would not take from the same place I've always used, would not take my PayPal or my credit card. And mm -hmm. uh, it was just something just so weird. And, you know, they were good, my PayPal and my credit card and or my credit card. So I called the place and they said they were able to do it from there in. Hmm. Oh, well, weird stuff. I mean, in the astrology, I can't play Mercury retrograde because it's not. And I suppose one possibility is Venus is going retrograde, but I've never can't remember seeing Venus doing this on retrograde cycles. Yeah. And there is this week, there is a major opposition in the sky, Mars and Saturn are opposed. And I could blame it on that because that's that's a particularly harsh type of energy and, and could connect to, you know, could mean things like this for sure. Right, right. But even so, this thing with the internet we were experiencing, I, I'm pretty sure now that it was my fault. So I can't blame the solar flares either. So I have no one to blame. <laughs> I, I'm stuck, <laughs> right? Oh, listen, hey, yeah. on Monday, I'll just tell you a real quick story. I don't know if you read it on my, I think I read it on my community channel. I had a woman come measure for new blinds for the garage and tall, very well put together woman, white woman, dressed kind of, you know, she might've been in her late forties, early fifties. She was sort of dressed like a, you know, like a hippie almost with the long, earrings so we're talking about the weather and we're talking about how hot it is and she says you realize the government is doing this deliberately because they're trying to force us to work to move out of suburbia or move into one or the other i was just like i said oh so how do you explain europe is it is a big u universal conspiracy oh yeah i said let me ask you something let me guess do you believe in pizzagate and she said, and you don't? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. But you know, you know what's amazing about this kind of thing is these people that go down these rabbit holes, <laughs> you, you know, you ask them and you say, but you also believe the government is incompetent, right? They're really bad. We need to replace the government. And yet, even though they're really incompetent, they're doing these amazing, <laughs> you know, can you imagine the trickery needed to to have the, the kind of ability and control to to make this kind of thing happen. So yeah, there's it's they're mutually exclusive. Let's just say that. Right, right. But listen, yeah. thank you guys a lot yeah. of get get well for your mom. A lot of people prayed for your mom. Thank you. Yeah, she's still she's still in the in the hospital because she's still sorting through the 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 stroke she had. The swallowing isn't back yet. So then yeah. they have to they have to work with you know different ways to give her nutrition and so forth waiting for it to to settle back down we got some good news on it this and you know mel did real good with his surgery mm. and uh by the way he was he saw what, what you were going through he, he wanted to send his love and also my daughter's uh is negative no cancer oh excellent excellent great to hear so great to hear um ktm said is the sixth house really the house of karmic debt I have five planets in six house, Libra, including Venus, Sun, and Pluto. Well, the sixth house is, uh, the, if there's karmic debt there, it's health related. Okay. Uh, sometimes it could be, depending on your age and overall situation, the sixth house is also work related. So it can be matters of people you work with, your coworkers, things like that. Your work in general, it could affect that. Okay. But uh, if you talk about, well, it depends what you mean by karmic debt. But for example, if you go to the eighth, that's a more serious house that could, you know, be serious, serious debt uh, matters around all kinds of things. Right. But the sixth is related to health. So okay. that's the answer to that one. Yeah. And um, uh, Kat said she listened to an astrologer recently who said that Biden will have a major health issue the middle of September. 14th or 15th. Can you ask Andre to take a look at his chart? You know, everybody's been saying this about Biden since since he's been a president. And 
I continue to say that the one to more likely have a health event is the other guy, Trump, because the threats to his health are really, really serious. It's not no joke, the way those planets are aligning, which is also in part why things are not going well for him, period, right? It's the health stuff and the other stuff that's been circulating and you're seeing it. I mean, you tell me, how, how does it feel to be, now you're on the third indictment and it's pretty soon going to be four. And by the way, I mean, think about all this, right? People are always going on, oh, you people, you watch fake news. No, we don't. Our news seems to more or less tell you approximately what will happen. We've been hearing for weeks. You know, are they lying when they say Jack is looking into this, Jack is looking into that? Why is Jack looking into things? Because he's going to charge the guy. Now he gets the letter. You tell me, right? And what right. is- Oh, but he's doing this for us. You realize that, don't you? Oh, yeah, of course. I know. I know. He's he's being, he's being I know. It's, it's, it's totally transparent. It's, to me, it's totally amazing in that, these people in the end, from Trump all the way down, they don't seem to know how to add and subtract. Why don't you just look at numbers to realize your chances are low? You need a you need a, a miracle. It's not a good plan to go with a person like this. It just isn't, you know. But there they are, you know. Right. Well, Barr tried to tell him, even though I don't like Barr. He said, Sir, people are sick of the whining and complaining. Yeah, no. Why are you yeah. trying to get rid of Obamacare during a COVID? <laughs> It didn't yeah. make no sense. Yeah, yeah, no, but hey, you saw Kevin McCarthy this morning. He was saying this is the reason it's happening is because uh, Biden and the Democrats want to get rid of Trump as a candidate, when in reality, the Democrats would want to have Trump as the candidate. Oh, That's the point. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy. Give the guy the nomination. Give it to right. him. I'm okay with that. He's not going to win. That's not going to work, no. right? No. So it's the whole thing is a story, but like someone was explaining how the country is in this terrible place. If you compare to Watergate 50, 60 years ago, both parties were interested in upholding the rule of law. So they weren't going to say the Democrats are trying to take down Nixon. No, Nixon got taken down by what he did. They both cooperated. Now the entire GOP is making it seem like this whole thing is a plot by Biden and, you know, and uh, Schumer and and uh, Adam Schiff. The whole thing is a plot to get rid of Trump because one of them said, "You know what? If you Trump is going to beat Biden for sure, like based on what? You know, like last he said he's going to beat him for the second time because they think he beat him the first time. You know, there's no end to this insanity. So you know, we'll see what happens. But all I have to say is, I wouldn't want to be charged by the feds. The one thing I keep hearing is, never, never, never. The the feds never go to court unless they know. Yeah. They've got you, yeah. you know, dead to rights. And by the way, you heard one of the things is supposed to be witness tampering. That means they have some kind of evidence that he talked to someone and tried to convince them to lie. That's a serious crime. Right. Who, who talked? We don't know. We'll find out, right? They were cutting down. They saw the letter, by the way, the intent letter or whatever it was. And one of the c codes on there, if you read down it, it includes sedition. So it's up to a 20 year because they were saying that's weird. They're not saying he's it does. There's sedition in there. Yeah. If you listen, listen to go on Midas Touch or whatever and look and see what they talk about. They huh, said okay. this particular code because people were saying, I don't understand why they didn't get him for, you know. Oh, OK. OK. And so what are the codes? Go down the code. It's down there. It's not the word sedition, but it's trying to change an outcome. That's a 20 year sentence. You mean the one where it says defraud in the United States that they're going to tie the sedition? I think yeah. so. Well, we're going to find out. So you remember one thing is that I've always wondered, okay, so if this guy charges him with everything, you know, there's a lot here. There's a lot and there are a lot of people. But really what he needs to do is charge him with something that he can get him on as fast as possible. Yeah. And then you can charge all the rest. If you charge with too much, look what you're doing with the uh, uh, documents, you know, with the help. You can already see Eileen, by the way, Canon. She's already leaning to adding more time, right? Yeah. Uh, but there, there's so much uh, to cover because there are a lot of documents. There's a lot of a lot of security patterns. So there is a there's a delay because of that. But here, if it's very straightforward, then are asking for delay, it, you know, doesn't make any sense. So he may not throw the book at him yet. He may just throw enough, you know, to be able to to prosecute him sooner rather than later. And Bottom line, I mean, the astrology is not good. This is not a good situation. Okay, so what does no. it look like in the next two months? 
It, well, at the I, look, end of I, this I, month, next month. Okay, like not to, I don't want to blow my own horn too much. I'll just credit the astrology. But I <laughs> said earlier this year, horn. no, yeah, but earlier this year, and I was, you know, it was just a straight up thing. As soon as Saturn enters Pisces, March, you will see a downtrend within days. Enters, and then it was Alvin Bragg and the whole bit, right? And yeah. August is a really complicated month for this guy because there are a couple of major cycles coalescing in there. Not in a good way. One of them is something that happens to all of us every many years. But what happens is you're born with an ascendant, like yours was Libra at birth, right? Yeah. But then it keeps moving in progressions. And every so many years, 20 years, sometimes 15, sometimes longer, switches signs. His, since the 1980s, he's had Libra rising. It's switching to Scorpio rising. That is not good. Not in this context. When you look at what's around them at the moment, both in life, like what we see, obvious stuff, and in the surrounding astrology, no, <laughs> not good. God. So it's why August is looking pretty grim, right? Because right. almost certainly, I mean, what, what are the odds? Think about it, right? Pretty good odds that sometime in August or late July, Smith charges, and then a little bit after that, Fawny comes in with her charge, right? Right. And by the way, a judge just said Trump can't change he wanted to change from a state, a state in Manhattan. He wanted to change it to someplace else, and they it's federal. To, and it, they said no. Okay, well, see, that's another thing. You can also tell a person's astrology in a way. You can tell by what is happening to them. And when someone is getting one, two, three, four, uh, you know, negative uh, responses such as that, that's one. There were others though. It's not the only thing that's happened. Re told about Georgia that he couldn't. Uh, in Georgia, he tried to throw the whole case out, and they they said, "No, he can't do that." The Georgia Supreme oh, Court. Oh, I remember. Yeah, right. He just, he so, wanted to get rid of her. Exactly. So, like usually, like, you, not even usually, always when you when you have good astrology, you get victories. You get things going your way. He's getting nothing. The only thing he's getting is he's running his mouth every day. You know, typing right. stuff on True Social. And That's the it. judges that decided that no, you're not going to get rid of Fanny were conservative. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, uh, like uh, Morning Joe this morning, he said they're showing McCarthy and M M McConnell. You know, mm. this is all Trump's fault. Shame on him. Mm. And now they're like, "Oh, this is a conspiracy." Yeah. No, I know. I mean, look when when you when when you reach a stage where where one party, in this case the Democrats, they're running ads of their people just talking. You know, right. you put MTG on there and let her blab. And because MTG was saying something about, I, I haven't seen the thing. I heard it from someone telling me that she's saying, oh, this is like, they're they're acting like uh, like uh, Roosevelt. Well, actually, that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, and Lyndon B. Johnson, she must have just learned about him. He did this and he did that. And then Biden is picking up the stick and he's going. Yeah, through. yeah, he it's is. It's like they, Biden used her statement for a commercial. Yeah, without saying anything, you know, it's the same. Uh, Kevin McCarthy, you, you were seeing the this morning, one in one for about thirty seconds. It's all Trump's fault. He needs to pay. And then, no, it's not his fault. It's the Democrats' fault. Like, which is it? What you mean? It became his fault when they charged them, right? It became right. like they. I mean, please, it's, it's it's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. Um. Uh. Well, the main thing is he looks bad. I'm going to tell you right now, he looks mm -hmm. bad. He wears mm -hmm. a lot of makeup and stuff, but there was a picture of him. I was, and I almost took my breath away because he looked like death warmed over. Yeah, no, and you know, and by the way, people have to realize when they're pondering the situation, what's really happening here is everyone is traumatized by what this, this, you know, as Rick Wilson, Rick, Rick Wilson called him, he called him a mendacious scumbag. This man is the lowest of the low. He's a total sleazebag. And so what he did left people really traumatized, but he had a lot of advantages. He was inside the building. He could control a lot of things. Like to this day, I believe that he made sure the National Guard wouldn't show up, obviously, right? Because he obviously. didn't want the National Guard there. Mm -hmm. But that's a lot harder to do now. You know, now there's an actual government and they're not going to just, you know, mm -hmm. take his abuse and so forth. And one of the things will be that the votes will get cast and they'll get counted. He can argue all he likes, right? Yeah. But that's a tough situation. and. There is nothing that tells me in what I'm seeing, if anything, doesn't it make sense to you that if they run Trump, Democrats are going to be scared and want to make sure that he doesn't get in there? That's yeah. common sense. Yeah. Why would they vote less? They'll vote more. 
especially so, when he's announcing how he's going to take away the DOJ and the IRS and you, the president will have the, if he got back in there, it's the end of democracy. Yeah, exactly. Which means this is part, well, not just yet, but it'll be part of the campaign. Democrats will make it more and more clear. Mm -hmm. And there's so much though. How, is, how are they going to explain women's rights? We're not even talking about that today, right? Women's rights is a deadly issue. This is the biggest mistake they've made in a generation. In even Trump opinion. said that out loud. I don't know. Yeah, but, I think you went too far on. on a well, board. okay. But there was someone who said, who did that? You did. You yeah. were the one that did that because you put those judges there so you could pay back the evangelicals, you know, who yeah. are also a bunch of hypocrites. You were paying them back. And now you're complaining that they did what you asked them to do. Like, which way is this, right? Right, it's, right. It's the truth. I mean, he always blames someone else, but he's the one to blame. He's also the one to blame for why. I mean, think about it, right? Everybody follows the leader. Is it a surprise that everyone has suddenly become corrupt? Who is the head of corrupto? Who is the number one corrupt? It's him. He's the one. He's yeah. corrupt from head to toe. Oh, you they know? were interviewing a woman. It's so sad to see it. And, you know, he's, and Biden's never been president. He's not president. And they said, you, he won that. And she said, you realize 64 judges said, no, there was no cheating. Where yeah. did you hear that? It's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in the news, in the news that tells me what is going on. You know, the, this is, by the way, the, the perfect answer. If you ever run into a Trumper is to say, look, you and I are obviously getting our information from different places. That's why right. we disagree. What I'm going to tell you is my information. The reason I trust it is things seem to happen according to the information I'm hearing. Not for you. And when they don't turn out, then you say there's a conspiracy. Right. There's no conspiracy. Why don't you just look in the right place? And then also you'll look Fox on. News just had to pay a big amount of money for lying about the election. And it's not going to stop there. They paid, they paid an individual. And now, can you imagine we're in a situation where a person who is a MAGA freak of sorts, that guy Epps, is suing them because they were blaming him for the January 6th. That was Tucker Carlson. This is like, I swear to God, this is like the inmates have totally taken over the asylum. You kind of wonder, are these people mad? How does this all make sense? But they carry on, right? And they're scared now to death that if they turn, then the Trump voters will be disappointed. Yeah, they will be, but I don't know what to tell you. I mean, uh, you're going to be disappointed anyway. Right. Because you're but following a loser. have been saying since the beginning that, that he is downfall. You've been seeing it for a while. You know, well, if it I was can... different, you would tell us, hey, look, no. like by the way, spot. hey, I'll tell you this. If if someone said to me, well, how sure are you? If someone put a gun to my head and said every single penny on earth that you have or will ever have, you have to bet it on one or the other. I'm betting on him going down. Absolutely. There's no way I bet on the guy, go, you know, saving himself from this. No way. And now it might not be. You know, people, because then people say, oh, I want him to go to prison or whatever. I don't know exactly. The, I don't. The, yeah, I've never exactly. seen that. I don't know. But to tell me that this guy is going to pull it off and come back in the White House, please don't make me laugh. That's my opinion. And I'm still. Now, what do you think about that new thing that they're doing with Joe Manchin? And uh, Joe Manchin said, if I ran for president, I would win. One of the worst rated senators on earth. It's unlike JFK and I I have I kind of got upset because Midas touching those people were saying they're gonna try to divide the vote and, and just like Jill Stein and all this. I said, wait a second, wait a second. Nobody likes Manchin. He's a Republican anyway. And RFK Jr. is a whack job. So uh, the only people I see all excited about RFK Jr. are Republicans. Yeah, no, they they want RFK Jr. Exactly, yeah. But Some RFK, people have given money who would have given it to Trump, given it to RFK Jr. Right. So how does that affect the Democrats? I, my feeling is all these things shake out next year. RFK, one of the ways you, you from his chart, what you see is he's doing he's doing well until Jupiter gets out of Taurus in the middle of the year, whereupon it changes, probably because nothing happens. I mean, he's got a 17%. He, he's trying to take down Biden. He's trying to compete. I, I thought it was third party. It's not third party. Uh, it's not? RFK is competing. He's actually... Oh, he's coming to... in as a Democrat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's laughable. I'm sorry. That's laughable. You know. Uh, but Cinnamon Bun and uh, Manchin think they're going to start another party. One vote or something 
Cinnamon is terribly hated. She's not going to win again. No. Oh, and you know what? By God, this is what gets me. How they can actually say something. It's like they grab their pants and act like nobody can smell it. Like Trump. I can't <laughs> believe it. They're using this against me. They're using the DOJ against me. Unheard of. Hello, you were the one that started that. He used of the course. DOJ against everybody. Of course. Of course. Of course. I mean, look, this is all, it's a battle of messaging. One of the things that, that, you know, is 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 so irritating is to hear them say, well, the American people this, the American people that. Which American people? Again, yeah. you guys don't know how to count. I know there are millions of you thinking this way, those American people, but how many are going to vote? There are many more American people that are really, really angry and they're distressed by Trump. And there is no better motivator than a cockroach like this running around making noise because people show up. And that's what happened in the pandemic, and it's going to happen again if they run him. And I'm not convinced that he makes it to the nomination still. That's I am me not. too. Me too. But I'm I, not I convinced. Know we'll go in there, but it, the, the, whoever, Biden is still going to win because the economy is so good. All those student loans just got. He took yeah. care of it, even though those idiots said, "No, you can't do it." Yeah, I just did it. <laughs> no, I mean, there's even you know sometimes you look at sometimes you look at at um, adjacent charts to get a sense of what might be going on yeah. in the situation. I, I'll tell you for a fact, right? One of the things that I looked at back in 2020, to me, charts Trump or Trump's chart looked like a loser, but I looked at my own chart because I thought, you know, if this guy wins, I'm going to be so disappointed. My chart looked pretty good. So I thought that's another thing. Isn't it suspicious that I'm looking at 2024? You know whose chart is doing really well? Kamala. Kamala's chart in November of 24 is nice. That's a nice yeah. chart. Okay. Jupiter crossing the ascendant. That's when Obama and Clinton were both elected. Jupiter on the ascendant is really nice, right? Okay. So that, that's an example where you think that's a little weird. She would have to have because she would be really disappointed too. You know? If you, yeah, because everybody Obviously. would. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And so, you know the thing about Biden. I mean, he's on it, but the thing about him is he's old now. Yeah, he's old, but and he doesn't have to run. He doesn't have to do this. He's doing it because he's trying to complete a job he promised. That's the type of guy he is. He, at his age, and he's got enough money in the bank, he could be chillaxing with his family. That's All true. And, he put up with Hunter, with these people trying to tear him down. You know, and by the way, let, let imagine that uh, back in 2021, McConnell had been a little smarter and a little more perceptive, and he had told his caucus, we got to get rid of this guy. Get rid of him. Because that gives us two years till 22, to, to people get used to it and so forth. Now we'd be in tw going toward 24, and maybe Biden, if if Trump isn't around, maybe Biden would have let someone else come in there. You know, maybe a guy yeah. some type or whatever. But yeah. I think Biden is looking at Trump and going, "No, I can beat you," and he's right. He, that's the whole point. That's why Biden is there. With Biden there, they got to run the table. They have Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania. Georgia and Arizona. That is a big trip to win in yeah. those places. You know, Wisconsin now is more under control. Michigan, yeah. what's Michigan happening in Michigan? Just gave a bunch of sixteen people. That well, that's the they're, they're being they're being uh, you know they're being charged. By the way, rightfully so. What kind of a country or democracy are you if people can just make up papers and say we're just gonna all of us? These are the oh, electors. According to MTG, she put everybody's name down. These people are they're just picking on them. Oh, oh, really? If a Democrat had done that to Trump and oh, come up with fake electors, of they course. would have asked for a hanging. Of course, no, of course. And and uh, I, to be honest, I mean, uh, I I what I'm hoping for is that in the I hope that in the second term, uh, well, in a way, maybe now he's letting Jack Smith do it. Jack Smith seems to be a, a really serious prosecutor, but uh, I think uh, an attorney general with someone like Adam Schiff or someone who's going to be more focused on these people all have to be brought to justice. I'm sorry. There's yeah. no way you can tolerate this. If you allow this kind of thing to happen, the country falls apart. You just yeah. can't, you know, I mean, are you kidding? They keep saying, Oh, that was a tourist visit. The, in the footage you're seeing flagpoles being thrown, people being beaten up. I love these tourist visits, right? Yeah. Oh, what? he loved them. They were just beautiful. These people were just, uh, that's what Trump said. And they were, they killed people. They hurt yeah. people. Yeah. Well, now he's got a prosecutor who was prosecuting war crimes. So I can tell you that he's probably not too bothered by, you know, an imbecile like you. Sorry, but that's just how it is. You can call him Mad Jack and 
uh, whatever he called him a crack. Did, did you happen to take a look see at Don Jr.? Yeah, Don Jr. is still in the middle of pressure, predictably, but it's not as worse as his father's. Okay, his father's he, is worse. He's going to town with this. Oh, 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 oh. If if Biden yeah. wins, it's the end of this country. Yeah, sure, sure. If Biden wins, it's the end of this country. Yeah, well, I mean, look, these are the messages that their people uh, need to be motivated. The the people that are following them, but. I don't know. It's like like Chris Christie's right. He just looks in the camera and says, "If you if you put him there, we're going to lose." Yeah, it's that simple, right? Yeah, it's that simple. So, by the way, not that it means that if you put Christie there, they would win, but Christie put... won't win. No, no, no way. No, no, exactly. It's just like that mansion. I don't know what the hell he means by "if I run, trust me, I'll win." No, you won't. I think he needs Mansion. Just he, he's an attention seeker, so he he needs to be in the limelight, and. Uh, by by the, saying these kinds of things, he's on TV, and you know a lot of these people. Uh, you kind of ask yourself, why does this guy RFK that unbelievably stupid thing he said about uh, the COVID thing was engineered to kill uh, white people and 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 uh, you know Caucasians and something else, but it was set up so that Asians and Jews would be would be exempt. You know, immediately I thought, well, that they're talking like a Nazi. I mean, it was what, terrible. His family came out and said they totally, uh, entertainment purposes only, but his family came out and said, we are so sorry. We do not right. go by what our brother or uncle has said. It, it's 100%. so out of whack, you know, and he, I loved his father. I loved no, no, his father. Yeah, I yeah. sent him a, uh, I was just a young girl when RFK died and I sent him a nice little, you know, I'm so sorry about your dad to him, Robert. And I got a nice little card back from Eleanor, which I'm sure she sent to everybody. I kept it. I still have it. But if he just turned out to be a whack job. Yeah, no, but it's it's that it's that narcissistic thing where these these people, a lot of these people, you know, it's a it is pretty common in politics because usually narcissists go into politics. But then they they're sitting around and people are looking at them and they think they're really smart. And they do, you know, stream of consciousness. Here's what I've been thinking about. Well, you got to be careful with what you say, because I mean, there, I would have said, how about you just don't say that? Yeah. <laughs> how about you keep your mouth shut? That's a dumb thing to say. Now, of course, then he has to backtrack. No, I didn't really mean it that way. Well, oh, that's was what he you backtracking? Said. He tried. He's trying to explain it and so forth. But it, it, what do you explain when? Well, you I, know, I, the voters he's going to get are the far right. The, the conspiracy theorists, those are the ones that will vote for someone like him. I mean, I would imagine. I, yeah. I, this is the thing. I mean, you got to trust, too, that that in the current era, a lot more people are more awake to a lot of these patterns than they used to be five years back, then 15, 20. So you're less likely to be fooled by, say, you know, and I think Manchin will discover this if he does enter his numbers will be so low and people will be saying to him, why are you there? Are you trying to, are you trying to put Trump in, in office? Oh, secretly, you're really a GOP, whatever. So it's, it's hard for people like that to. That's to, it, that to, he always has been a GOP. Yeah. And sitting there in his yacht. Talking about. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. 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 No, no, I know. Well, so, I mean, to be, to be fair, he's in Virginia, so it's a really red state. And uh, in that sense, it's good that, most of the time he votes with be better off with a moderate Republican taking that job. Oh, well, of course. Of course. Amanda wants to know, how does the new moon affect Pisces or people in general on how long does the effect last? The new moon? Yeah, the new moon in Pisces. Well, the new moon in Pisces doesn't Wait, happen. How does the new moon affect Pisces? I guess she's a Pisces. Right, right. So the new moon, no, the new moon, we just went through the new moon. And it's actually, that was a good moon for Pisces because it happened in Cancer. New moons, well, even that I should be careful. The, what I'm saying is, if you just go by sun sign, then new moons in Cancer, Pisces, uh, Scorpio are probably going to be okay. Versus like for a, a Pisces, a new moon in Gemini is more complicated because it makes a square. But you got to look at the actual chart because there could be an alignment happening in the chart that makes it easier or or you know or or harder so it's too general a question new moon i personally prefer the full moon energy i noticed that the new moon is has a flat quality to it and i remember reading 
Tibetan astrology books where they literally they call it the new moon, they call it a demonic moon, and you know, they prefer the full moon. I know. So there you go. Hey. <laughs> okay, so hi Linda and Andre. This is from Dana. Can you have you read on Israel? Uh, Israel, uh, yes, Israel is going through, by the way, this is uh, an example of a worldwide phenomenon that is taking place where you could interpret it as, the, look what's happening in Israel, tilt to the right, uh, this could mean fascists or you know right-wing governments taking over, we're having the same problem to an extent here, but I see it as this is linked to the Pluto cycle getting out of Capricorn. And so Pluto is left, you know, because people immediately said this year, in, in, in February, March, it's out. No, it's not. It makes a little uh, leaves then comes back in. Next year, gets more into Aquarius, comes back in again. Finally, it leaves by the end of 24, it's gone, right? Okay. So the way I think this is going to go is that we're in the last dregs of this, you know, all these right wing fanatics doing all this. As we move into 25, 26, 27, that that uh, strain of thought gets weaker and weaker if it doesn't right. disappear completely. So but the people are marching in the streets. Yeah, exactly. Because the the right wing in 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 uh in Israel is doing a lot. What the right wing is saying here, you know, they talk about freedom while they take stuff away. Well, it's just like to Satan. Yeah, exactly. Like to all, we defend freedom. Well, then why are you taking away rights that I've had for fifty years? How is right. this free? Right. Oh, why but, are you changing the government? The only thing that kept things on an even keel. Yeah, exactly. Your, exactly. Your I, I, system. I love their thing where they say freedom is is me telling you how to think or how to or what to believe in. That's freedom, like That's freedom of speech. <laughs> Have you taken a look at him, by the way? At who? To Satan. Yeah, no, the Santis member that I said this before. I I, I only have a birth date, no birth time, but the Santis. I was watching uh, middle of May. And to see if his situation improved, if anything has gotten worse, I think DeSantis, he he would not be my pick to get the nomination. I don't think he's going to get it. Okay. I just don't see it. So he's just plummeting. And well, it's it's he should be doing better, much better. And he than had the me. nerve to be on uh, Twitter and say, oh, everybody wants to be Florida. No, they don't. No. Oh, my no. God. You're uh, the top 10 worst states. The amount of money to live there that the, he didn't get anybody in the health department because people are getting sick from some mosquito uh, bite from something. I can't remember mm -hmm. the name of the disease. And, uh, you know, he's just cutting off. You can't say anything against him or they'll come after you. Good news is his little brown shirt group, this little Nazi group he tried to get together to uh, be in his military, his private military. Most of them walked off the job. Wow. Yeah. They actually mm -hmm. said it was too militarized. I mean, one one possibility, and because these next couple of months are critical in establishing Trump's fate, which I think is not going to a good place. And mm -hmm. one possibility could be that if the situation gets bad enough with the charges and so forth, it may happen that given that DeSantis is not a very good candidate either, that's when other people jump in there or, you know, the, the energy starts to switch and you may start to see people, you know, getting behind someone else. Because if you think about it, why is Trump only at 50? He should be at 80%. Why is Trump, you know, he's getting half the Republican Party. What about the other half? Right. You know, right. Something strange is happening that way. And, uh, yeah, we, we gotta we gotta see what happens between now and the fall. That's that's the right. key. And the other good news was that uh, Biden gave his report seventy four million in uh, donations towards his. Uh, that's what he got mostly from small donations like Obama. He beat out Trump and the Satan. Yeah, no, the, this is the thing that the I think the amazing the amazing thing about the Democratic Party is that maybe because. Democrats by nature are often nicer people and Republicans, by the way, I'm sorry, the the, the thievery and the lying. I mean, it's just it's oh, rampant. even right? starting with uh, 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 the, the, the justices with oh. McConnell. You can't bring this guy in because uh, it's a, such and such. And so I don't know why Obama didn't just do something crazy. 
And then he yeah. turned around when Ruth Bader Ginsburg died and put his first no, Absolutely, absolutely. So like the thing is with Democrats, you know, this to me, I, I've said this before, the analogy is in sports, always be with a better team. Yeah, the weaker team might win, but don't count on it too much. That's an upset. We have the better team by far, and we have the numbers. Just hang in there, make sure you show up, let them argue about it after. It's fine. We have the better team, better numbers, better situation. Well, this is one of the worst I've seen, by the way, the, the gap is so big. Because yeah. if you go to 2016, or oh, Hillary was unpopular, and 2020, Trump was the president, so he's got incumbency. But uh, you have to go back. I don't even know when. Like when Obama was running, you could see there was a big gap between uh, he, he was really strong and McCain, especially when he brought in Sarah Palin. You know, people went, I'm not voting for that guy. And we're getting a bit of a similar thing now where the, the Republican platform is very weak. It's just very weak. And, you know, people uh, look around. I mean, look at MTG. Kevin McCarthy under Saturn transits. No wonder it's not going well for her. No wonder, you know, under Saturn, people take your words and they throw them on TV and they say, look, look what this fool is saying, you know, to embarrass Are you me. still seeing bad news from McCarthy? Yeah, McCarthy's in a bad place. He's teetering. He's He's, he's got to go through Saturn, you know, going into next year. And people that ha have no self-discipline have a rough time with Saturn because that's what Saturn wants. Saturn requires you to be disciplined, self-contained, you know, no, I mean, look what he's doing. Right. Look at his well, messages. Listen, now that Jack hit him up, and then we're going to have, by the way, more people will go down with him. I'm sure those people like Jim Jordan and all those people are nervous. Yeah, well, it, you, you got to be asking, okay, so longer term, in a way, someone said, uh, whether I hear this, CNN or somewhere, they said that uh, Trump... Trump is gambling that he'll win the election because then he can make it all go away. It's a pretty big gamble, right? But the thing is, if that's not the case, you can almost anticipate that the Justice Department is going to chip away at everybody. Everybody. They'll just keep going and going because we heard, and you know, in the actual news, we heard all kinds of rumor. Like, wasn't Jordan, weren't Jordan and MTG asking for pardons? Oh, yes. Or at least MTG. Why are you asking for a pardon? Matt Gates. Matt another... Gates asking for a yeah. pardon. By the way, that's another one. Matt Gates, the reason, because at first I thought, why? I thought this guy, remember I thought he might have been caught last year and then they let him off the hook. He yeah. was under pressure. And then now he's, he's again under pressure until next spring because something else came in. There was a gap in between where he was free, right? right. So in that way, the astrology, you can count on it, always provided you've been doing things. Because then, you know, then we go to the next question. People will say, well, uh, he's a he's a Gemini. This means I'm going down because I'm a Gemini. No, you haven't done anything. It's a, <laughs> it doesn't have to be that way. way. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he was the one down there showing everybody new photos of young girls and thought he was cute. Uh, it's, it's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But Abbott, have you taken a look-see at Governor Abbott from Texas? No, Abbott, whenever I look at his... Now, again, I... I a birth time that would put him in trouble would be would change my mind. But on what I see, it just doesn't look like there's anything there, you know, to yeah. it's which would be good. But I, I mean, you know, he was having children thrown back, you know, people thrown back in the river. Oh, no, he's 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 brutal. He's brutal. The whole state. And I mean, not only that, they're trying to uh, put the brakes on voting. You know, oh, they're... yeah. And and by the way, that AG, which we never heard another word from, the one that said, I stopped 2,500 applications for voting, 2,500,000 applications. That was me. And then all of a sudden they shut him up because that was uh, probably Beto O'Rourke's O'Rourke's votes. Yeah. Yeah. It's no, I, I, I mean, sometimes sometimes what happens during these really tricky periods is there's of course the fear and the trembling and so forth. It's just the way actual change happens because there are so many rules that Trump is exposed that aren't real rules. You know, he can kind of get away with it. That has to be changed. Then things never get changed until there, there a crisis point occurs. Exactly. Right? And, and yeah, you got to protect in the future, you know, you, as much as possible, we have to prevent evil clowns from rising to the presidency. It's just not a good plan. You know, this yeah. guy, you know, he would go over and, and uh, sell out NATO and help out Putin. You know, that's what he would do. It's a fact. That's you know? what he wanted to do. 
Yeah. You know, and this is the thing. You can run on him against him saying that and let him explain himself. You just say, no, no, if you give him the presidency, the the very next day you will see him help Vladimir Putin walk into Ukraine and take over. That's what he'll do. Yeah. And you'll have to explain his response, you know, so. He's such a liar. You can't believe a word he says. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's so, good. Did you happen to uh, take a look at Jamie Foxx? No, he might have not Jamie Foxx is the actor? He's an actor. He's really a good actor. And something happened to him. I think he had a stroke. Hmm. Okay, that's but one I could People write me a lot wondering. I'll have to do a video where I actually throw the cards and check it out. Yeah, I'll check that out too. Yeah, I'll make a note to look at his... Uh, Look at this thing. I, I lately the the one the movie star I checked out is uh, Schwarzenegger because I saw the um, the special on Netflix. It's actually quite good. And and I'll have to watch it. I I had the chart in front of me as he was telling the story, and I could see the. That's where you really learn astrology because when someone is giving you events, this happened and this happened, and then I was doing well and then not so well, and you find all the correlations, and so it's very interesting. And then you took a look, see at Madonna. You saw she was pretty sick too. Yeah, Madonna. Madonna has her chart has problems. Yeah, I mean charts. Charts when they signal something, and they point to a a house, uh, like in her case, place of hospital sickness. Right. Yeah. You you wonder. You know, it's the same separately. You know, different person that has that house. Totally different topic, though. It's kind of a social media scandal of sorts. It's Jonah Hill because his girlfriend is accusing him of abuse. Yeah. There, he's not sick, sick, but you can see in the chart the problem that he's sorting through. Okay. Uh, he actually could really use a talk with an astrologer because I see these longer term patterns that if he's not careful, he could really hurt his own career. Because you know what tends to happen with these things is once you uh, get painted in the corner in the Me Too era, uh, they may, you may not get hired anymore because producers just think, oh, that's not that yeah. guy. And it can really stall the situation. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. So, um, you know, you're not a psychic, you're an astrologer. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you guys ask me questions that are psychic questions. So I'm going to take some of these and, and look at them later. Um, did you happen to take a look at Zelensky or Putin recently? Putin, Putin yeah, yeah, Putin, I mean, he's, it, 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 charts like that, they're, they're in my mind, they're, you know, they're memorized. So I'll, when I see some move, you know, Putin, Putin is not in a good place. I mean, I, I look at all the messages coming out. The one today or yesterday was that something about how he say he the reason he treated that Prigozhin character was to save his own skin. What do you mean? Save it his own skin? I, I gotta read that again because it sounds a little weird, but Prigozhin is walking around from what I can tell, right? Yeah, he's uh his uh, his guys, all his uh army guys, they're yeah. in what country? Crimea? Uh, well, I don't know if they're in Crimea. I know that. Or, you mean the, the the that Wagner army? No, yeah. they're in uh, they're in Belarus. They were in Belarus, I think. No, they're now they're in a diff- they're in the other country. They're in Crimea. It was on the news today. Oh, so they're fighting the Ukrainians now. Well, they they said they're not. No, they said they're not going to fight the. They said no, we're not going to fight the uh, uh, Ukrainians. Well, then that's good. That's they good. Said that's good they plan. may go back if it gets better. What do they mean by that? I think they're in disarray. They're in disarray, you know, and it's funny that uh, remember, you probably heard Joe Scarborough say one day sarcastically, he goes, these the, these Republicans, his ex-party, they're saying that our army is becoming too woke and we need a more masculine army like the, like the Russian army. Really? Is that what you want? The Russian army. Boy, they're doing a great job, right? <laughs> the Russian army. It's pretty funny. Oh, and then you got that one guy, Tuberville, that's holding off us being able to put people in there. Yeah, again, you know, th- these are all, in my opinion, they're terrible, terrible actions, terrible plans. You're leaving yourself open to a kind of picture that Democrats can use, you know, to right. not only that, wait till the Lincoln Project, because they, they usually hit harder, right? Right. And they will make ads that are anything from sharp to vulgar, you know, to expose these people, but they keep getting fed uh, information and actions that are so bad you know right. that uh yeah so um anyways well, you guys we got a lot of stuff coming up i think august is going to be rocking is that is that what you what's your sense uh, my what's sense, sense? is that it's this this is like over the top it's it's 
this is everything we prophesied. The rats will jump the ship, which means there'll come a point that the Republicans actually say, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh, yeah. I don't know him. <laughs> Yeah. No. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to see. But uh, it's like I said earlier, Lindsey Graham said, if we vote for him, we get what we deserve. And those words will come yeah. back and hit him in the ass. Exactly. Or exactly. Lindsey, have you taken a look at him? They boo oh, him. Nobody he, likes him. He's hurting. He's got to wait on, on, until post-election and things don't get better then either. It's just that until the election in early 25, He's getting direct pressure where, for example, even if he wasn't tied to the Georgia thing, and it sounds like he is, the idea of, yeah, you're going before a crowd and they boo you, you know, which it's for a politician sad. is pretty bad. Uh, but that's where he is. But he deserves it. I mean, the man is a hypocrite. He's, oh, he's God, weird. I love that to Satan video. I need to find that and repost it on my show where he said some woman told him off. He, he She said, you, da, da, blah, blah. And he said, really? Really? He said, how many of you he in here plan on voting for me for president? And one person raised their hand. <laughs> and he actually said, wow, that's not pretty cool. <laughs> one I, person raised their hand. I know. So this is the thing about what I was saying earlier. Sometimes think before you speak. You know, I know. When you say I something, know. You, you always don't create a situation where you could be embarrassed. You know? Right. Well, not okay. the first girl that was talking in Georgia, but the second one on the grand jury, that group, there was a lot of Trumpsters in there. And they said they were shocked. They loved yeah. him, yeah. but they were shocked. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the thing that many times uh, a lot of these people, they are, uh, you know, you've seen these studies, they're watching only Fox News or only OAN or whatever. And then, in fact, I had seen this, it's pretty laughable, they did a study where they paid people to watch CNN and MSNBC for a month and uh, a large number changed their mind about, you know, because they realized, oh, okay, this is the real news. They got the so real like deal. It's like you're stuck on a channel. Uh, you know, and by the way, Fox, you said earlier, right, how they're in trouble and so forth. And you can go on there and you will see strong counterpoints in, in a weird way. They are doing fair and balanced okay. without realizing it because you'll see programs where Someone is saying, hey, have you thought this through? Like there's that liberal lady that keeps taking them to task, you know, pointing out your numbers don't make sense. Uh, Trump is a loser. Why are you backing this guy? Yeah. And, you know, and, and he's not getting an easy ride anymore on Fox. So there's there's that as well, that there, in multiple places they are not united and running when you're when there's this when there's this unity in your in your party is not a good plan. You know, right. And, and yeah. also uh, Trump, the night he got hit with the uh, January 6th, he was on Sean Hannity, didn't say one word about it. Oh, yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure, for sure. But you saw Brad Baer give him a really rough time, right? Yes, so, I loved it, I loved it. I mean, so listen, we'll hook up next week. Yeah, let's- Because uh, it's going to get a rocking and a rolling. Well, I, the, it's possible. I, my feeling is that it either drops this week or the following week. Okay. Maybe Which the one? third- maybe, Which one? Maybe, Fanny? Like, no, uh, Jack Smith. I think it's either this week or next week. At the latest, the, the first week of August. But we're in that range. You know, I don't think we're too far away from from the actual. You know what Trump said: when you get a letter, you get arrested and indicted. So yeah, yeah. Well, he won't show up for the grand jury. He's not going to do it. No, no, he can't do that. I'm sure his lawyers told him. Don't you remember that that lawyer that he had back in the day in the White House who said to him because he wanted to go talk to Mueller, and the lawyer said to him. If you talk to Mueller, you'll be in an orange jumpsuit by the end of the day. So do not talk to Mueller. That's what he said to him. <laughs> oh, they had to talk that guy down left and right. Yeah, yeah, I know. And then he, he would just get rid of people that didn't think the way he thought. No, it's exactly it. He, he The way Trump lives is he thinks that he can talk his way into or out of anything. That's true. Not in a court of law. There you can't do that. You can talk. Well, he but, used to get away. He got away with not paying people and 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 putting his nose up to subpoenas and stuff. Now he can't. You were yeah, the no, one but that said that. You said he was going along pretty good, and then something changed. I don't know what it was planetary, and you said all of a sudden he's going to notice he can't get away with things. Anymore. Yeah, the Saturn, the Saturn. Like, you know, by the way, it matches. You see, Saturn, 
Saturn is a planet that finds a way to put you in a straitjacket in some way, which if you're a normal person can be very beneficial because it's the period of your life where you actually work some, hard on something, sacrifice something and make gains. But if you're a crook like this guy, then it hems you in. And Saturn was in the first two years of his presidency was really hemming him in. That's why he couldn't, he couldn't move. He, you know, he had Mueller and it, it, it took him until after that to get more familiar. He brought Barr in and, you know, and, and all of that to improve his chances of doing even more crimes, basically, right? right? But now it's doing the same thing again, but there is no protection now. Now he's exposed. He can't call on the attorney general or anyone else. And he's got multiple court cases with federal charges. Alvin Bragg is not federal, but he seems to me to be a pretty pretty meticulous guy. That's another problem. So, you know, it's not good. It's just not good. That's the one he tried to change, the venue, right? And the judge said no? Yeah, the, the judge said no. Yeah. Did yeah. you hear about the vases from Israel? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Okay, isn't that classic? I mean, think about what a grubby, you know, person you have to be to to take those home and watch. You'll probably give them a hard time and not give them back. That's what I was feeling. Is that right? When he's dead, they may come and get him. But oh, they cold. asked him for it back. They took him to Washington and COVID hit to the <laughs> White House and he took them home with him. He took them home with him. Yeah, well, there you go. That's Trump. He refuses to release them back. Yeah, by the way, this in the astrology is the downside. Remember, I'm saying this about the downside. Doesn't mean that if you're the sign, but cancer, he's got those planets in cancer. Cancer is very attached to the past and to memorabilia and to collections and things like that. So that's why he takes everything with him and why that thing about how he even took the boxes with him on planes and back and forth because he can't leave, you know, they're part of his thing. These, these yeah. boxes have these documents. So that's the way he is. But, you know, it's one thing to say I carry my whatever I have with me because I am I need to see all my little statuettes or whatever. But, you know, the, uh, documents that, that have nuclear secrets and war plans, that's not cool. You can't do that. He doesn't get it. He just doesn't know. No, no. He's no. an idiot. Yeah, well, that yeah. In the end, I mean, that's the that's the thing that that that's what you know. When you say that, if that's true, your chances automatically drop of things going well for you because people like this they don't plan properly. They don't. I mean, it, you know, when I was watching the latest thing on all this about the um, the um, the fake electors. Yeah, what crossed my mind is what a ham-handed, goofy thing to do. Like, how did you even think this would work? I thought they would you know, get away to try to pull a it. stunt like this. But that's what what he was trying to engineer. And Georgia is going to be taking care of that. There's a whole bunch of places they're going to be arresting these people. Yeah, yeah. I think it's ramping up. It's okay. ramping up and it's ramping up. You can see the, you know, the timing is as you would expect. It's okay. like that, right? Hey, okay, so. you guys, you heard it here. You heard it here. Okay, my friend. I'll All see right, you everyone. Next week. You guys, thank you for coming.